Hi guys, in today's how-to video, I want to build on my series how to improve your shooting flow. And in the fourth part, I'm going to focus on efficiency. Before we kick off part four, I want to do a very quick review on uh, how to improve your shooting flow one, two and three. In uh, part one, we focused on three core principles. First is uh, shoot bottom up and uh, left to right for right-handed shooters and right to left for left-handed shooters. The second principle, uh, shoot in a clockwise formation for uh, right-handed shooters and a counterclockwise formation for left-handed shooters. And uh, the third principle was to shoot uh, as many targets or target arrays in a horizontal line as much as you can. In part uh, two, we also saw three uh, other core principles the first was uh, try to shoot on the move as much as you can try to limit the amount of stops on a stage and uh, try not really to stop but more to take a pause and the third principle was as soon as you see a target try to engage and shoot it with the uh, precondition of course that your gun is up as soon as possible in part three we actually focused on uh, merging or blending uh, shooting positions so that you can limit the overall amount of shooting positions also decreasing your overall time without compromising on your points in part four of this series i want to add and explain another core principle that can significantly help you to improve your shooting flow and your overall results and that is efficiency efficiency has different meanings to different uh, people depending on who you ask but i define efficiency as combining multiple processes and or sub processes into one flow during movement or in that time and that time to me is the time that i'm not engaging actual targets and shooting points it's not only the combination um, of uh, uh, processes or sub processes but also the optimal and correct execution of the individual techniques to ensure that you save time and that you are efficient obviously the more you combine and the more optimal um, execution of the individual techniques and tactics the more efficient you'll be and the faster you'll be on the particular stage without having to compromise on your points obviously uh, there's always a risk and reward angle uh, to any of the um, different uh, principles that i explained in um, the series in this particular case also um, it's very efficiency is very individual and largely is dependent on your uh, level as a shooter and especially your skill level and your comfort level um, an example is a 180 degree turn for example oftentimes you see new and, and intermediate shooters um, dissect the 180 turn um, with the focus on uh, safety and security and they will uh, execute each uh, sub process individually consciously uh, with the last uh, uh, sub process drawing their gun uh, down range but overall because they are um, consciously thinking it over and and uh, paying a lot of attention to safety which obviously everybody must do um, they lose a lot of time and that's because they're not efficiently executing that uh, particular technique which obviously will uh, grow over time and over experience but that's an example on why it is important to um, execute uh, uh, individual respective uh, techniques in the most optimal and efficient manner because doing so already saves you time in the next two slides we're going to give you a couple of examples to explain this new core principle to demonstrate and explain the core principle of efficiency i have set up the following scenario a short course with a minimum of 10 rounds we are facing down range with the tips of our feet touching the mark on the floor and our hands touching the marks on the barricade the gun condition is unloaded and holstered we have three paper targets to engage and four poppers in total 
because this is a weird starting position, I recommend to uh, look at the grip of your gun before the beep goes off. And as soon as your shooting hand has a good grip on your gun, you can either look at the next uh, target or the next shooting position you want to hit. Now in this scenario, um, just prior to the beep, we will be looking at our uh, grip. This is to ensure that we have a good grip and that we can shoot different uh, targets with a good grip and a good position and uh, as soon as the beep goes off we will actually take a very large slight step to hit our next shooting position so as soon as we have the grip we will be looking at our next shooting position and in that transition using the large slide step we will draw our gun we will load a magazine into it and we will rack uh, and charge around into it to make sure that the gun is up uh, just before we hit the shooting position and just before we can actually see the first target which is this uh, popper and as soon as we see this popper we will actually engage it and as soon as we called our shot we will transition to the second uh, popper and as soon as we call that shot we will push out and start transitioning to the other side of the shooting area and in this movement we will actually um, engage the three paper targets on uh, the rear through the window from right to left so that we don't need to stop to engage them so we will shoot them on the move probably with a small pause we will uh, take a look in this movement we will take a look at the exact spot that we need to go and if we hit the spot we will make sure that the gun is up and as soon as the gun breaks the barricade we will actually engage the first popper we see and then transition over to the last popper so if you execute the different processes and sub processes correctly and efficiently efficiently you will have a low time on the stage and uh, high points which will also lead to a high hit factor this is how you can um, use efficiency on a stage like this i've added a second scenario to demonstrate and explain the practical use of uh, the core principle of efficiency to improve your shooting flow uh, we have part of a medium course of a total of 14 rounds we are standing right outside of the shooting area facing down range and standing relaxed the gun um, is empty on a barrel together with the first mag uh, to be used and the first targets uh, that need to be engaged are in front of the barrel so what we do in a scenario like this is again combine as much as we can to be efficient here we need to step in from the starting position into the shooting area and whilst we are doing this we will actually go down to make sure that we can in the movement uh, pick up uh, in together our gun and our mag and that we load and rack around into the chamber whilst we are actually moving upwards slightly and in that movement we will actually st already start moving to our left hand side to continue um, the rest of the of the stage uh, to engage the targets and in this movement our gun is um, up and uh, ready we will actually start engaging the first paper target and whilst we are moving in uh, the other direction we will engage the second target to then transition to the the next target to engage so here also we are not first stepping in then going down to pick up first the gun and then the mac and then statically load and then start to engage the targets and then move we will combine all these things together so that we can um, be optimal and efficient and engage the targets actually on the move gaining a couple of meters and also time um, loading our gun and engaging 
the targets. So if you combine these uh, different uh, processes and if you execute the different processes and especially techniques correctly, you gain a lot of time on the respective stages.